uh, sorry about that. Definitely rusty. No, you were great. Thanks. Glad that you could help. Take care of the cats for me. I certainly will. <laughs> Rest assured, I'll keep them very well fed. So bring your appetites. <coughs> All right, come along then. <coughs> Playing that piano again brought back a lot of memories. How mom used to teach me while dad was downstairs in the kitchen doing his best, which was pretty good. Hangouts with Emilio and the gang. <laughs> Which we kept inviting you to, but you never came. Never? Really? Really? But you seemed fine on your own. That what it looked like? That I enjoyed being alone? You didn't? Of course not. Huh. Guess we still don't know each other that well. Hmm. Well, never too late to make up for lost time. Yeah, that's true. I'm glad we came. Yeah. Glad we found Fluffy, too. I think you mean Blanca. But yeah, I hope she and the kittens are happy here. why that is myself. Maybe it's to mark ones with different symptoms? This is where we care for the patients. We have checkups, treatments, right. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? Help us! Come on, Cloud. I tried to warn you! Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog! But don't worry, all you gotta do is start thinking like a frog, and you'll be fine! Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Freedom fighter. Welcome to the crow's nest. young lady. We've got a lovely breeze blowing today. You certainly do. So, what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the Great Condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but, um... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. dinner. Maybe we can track it soon.
you're back. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. You can put the food right over there. Thank you. This is quite the cut of meat. I've no doubt the bird will be unable to resist the call of such fine dining. Gotta say, it's kinda nice, looking up and seeing a blue sky. Beats a steel one, that's for sure. <laughs> Though at least with a steel sky you know your limits. Out here, it's endless. I kinda get what Aerith was saying now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look! Mm -hmm. oh, what a sight! I never dreamed I'd be able to see it up close like this. Uh, oh, wait, we have to get a photograph. Grab the camera. Yes, sir! Come on! Gather around, everyone! Quickly! Quickly! Say cheese! Oh. <laughs> what? So, snap any good shots? I hope so! It just showed up! I could barely hold my camera and... Really? Couldn't tell from a shot like this. Ah. <laughs> well, I haven't looked this happy since I was a lad. It's precious moments like these that make condor watching so exhilarating. You never know what to expect. Well, scouts, let's finish writing up today's report and start preparing for our next fateful encounter. Sir! And hopefully next time we'll be able to snap a clear picture of that bird. Sir! Miss, I'd like you to have this. As a souvenir. <laughs> nice face, Cloud. Put up to look for Dio. Will do. If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Uh, Cloud, you got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. You see, no one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, aye, but... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now.
cadets, the Space Ranger <laughs> HQ. Our mission today is a final one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy. Let's be square, and I'll get you there. Dio's around here. Do any of them realize war is about to break out? They do, but people always think war is someone else's problem, until they're in the thick of it. Cloud, I gotta be honest. Hmm? For the longest time, I wanted to do everything. I wanted to fight for the planet, convince people to stand up, take action with us. But it's like, I always come up short, always. No matter what I try, I'm in over my head. And maybe you are the last, but knowing your limits is one of the keys to knowing yourself. You're not. And we're not the dumb kids who fell off Mount Nebo anymore. We're not powerless, and we're not alone. So don't ever stop trying, Tifa. Ever. You just gotta stick it out. Don't give up now. Okay. Thanks. I needed that. Alright, now let's go find Dio. Cool. Always come up short. Hey, lovebirds! Where could Dio be? Hmm. Where could Dio be? Hmm. Are you ready to embark on your Hey, lovebirds! Oh, I'm so it's excited!
sign of deal whatsoever. While we're talking, did you know this is where Jesse used to perform? Yeah. Oh. If she was with us, she'd probably be gushing about the role she played. Or maybe not. Maybe she'd be mad to see this place burning through more Mako than ever. Either way, she'd have kept us entertained. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? I repeat, for this tonight's performance have sold out. This thing is rare, and I'll get you there. Please line up here to wait. Let's see. The dawn outstayed his welcome in Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. I bought some protein powder. Did you see Musclehead Coliseum? Him. Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm, he doesn't look quite right. Hmm. Well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes, and in fact still is. Point of order, my ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. Take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo land. Let's sit out. Training hard and getting those games. What's that, party people? What's up? Hey. It's a challenge from the dark. Look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was, lamenting my lot in life, when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great. I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then.
Maybe not enough? Wanna step inside Maybe not enough? Wanna step inside the ring? Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs> Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? She'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. 
Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. <sighs> Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what this scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on him while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. <laughs> no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> Don't let her. Please. I won't. will come to visit us soon.
thought about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because an avalanche, I think I found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's gotta be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. <laughs> Take care, Biggs. No, I didn't... That's not what I meant! <clears throat> gotta find Elmira. Those off? No. Those pillow marks say different. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You got me. <laughs> anyway, want to broaden your artistic horizons? Loveless is playing here. And I got us tickets. Sure. After that, we could ride the Skywheel. Right. We missed out on that before. Yeah, but not this time. Let's go. to see Loveless. Audience members will also be invited to participate in tonight's revival. Once the show has begun, both late... <sighs> Attention, Event Square guests. Could make them bloom. That's make them Come bloom. on. Please speak to a member of the staff <laughs> at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Attention, Event Square guests. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Please speak to a member of the staff at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Attention, Event Square guests. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me?
capit, donum de erosit, tres pelatores bravitis contor, unto Jesus etia maure, alter ob Jesus est, sed superstes, I've never seen her look more beautiful. Yeah. She's a real star. Today's performance takes audience participation to the next level. mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Garda. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger, while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Malfrey was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain.
to proceed or not to proceed. These bars shall not hold me. I must fly free. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Fear not, Alfred. I've come for you. Rosa, how did you find me? I sensed you were in trouble. Twas the will of the goddess, perhaps. goeth before the fall, and I, Garm, shall deliver you to hell. <laughs> you know not whom you face, nor that you stand in his dominion. For I am Barbados, the Dragon King. And by the draconic power that courses through my veins, I shall give you ample cause to rue this day. Pride goeth before- <laughs> Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar! Have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill? The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ah, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is the future if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet... All tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you.
May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh! display of swordsmanship, enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is, indeed, such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart.
bereft of wings and broken, I consign you to the Abyss. Thank you, Alfred, for saving our world and everyone in it. You are a true hero. <laughs> what awaits you at Journey's End, I wonder? Will the Goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance till your frayed strings break. And you can dance no more. Alfred, look. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here.
Wow, that was amazing. I can't wait to start bragging. I'm friends with a famous singer. Well, maybe next time you could take the stage. <laughs> Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Well, the night's still young, right? What say we check it out? Thank you for joining us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the magic this evening, you're invited to use your tickets to the show for one free ride on the Sky Wheel. Enjoy a stunning view of the gold saucer and the dazzling night sky.